Okay, today we're going to go ahead and graph the equation y equals 2x minus 1 using a table. And the first thing that we need to be able to do that is to go ahead and draw ourselves a table. Now, when you're using a table to graph an equation, you can go ahead and choose whatever values for x that you want to choose. And you might as well choose some nice easy numbers. So I usually choose negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Um, and you're going to go ahead and in place of the x, you're going to put in the value that you chose into your equation. So then I'm going to follow order of operations, which says that you multiply before you subtract. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 and then I'm going to bring down the rest of the problem. And negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. So that means that when x is negative 2, y is negative 5. And I'm going to go on to the next value that I chose for x, which is negative 1. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into the equation in place of the x. And again, I'm going to follow order of operations, which says to multiply before you subtract. So 2 times um, negative 1 is negative 2. And bring down the rest of the problem. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And then I'm going to go on to put 0 in for x into my problem. And again, I use order of operations. It tells me to multiply before I subtract. 2 times 0 is 0. And bring down the rest of the problem. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So again, that means that when x is 0, y is negative 1. So then I'm going to go on and put 1 in in place of my x. And again, I'm going to follow order of operations. 2 times 1 is 2, and bring down the rest of the problem. 2 minus 1 is 1. And finally, I'm going to put 2 in in place of the x. And again, I'll follow order of operations. 2 times 2 is 4 and bring down the rest of the problem. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So again, that means that when x equals 2, y equals 3. So now I have my points. I'm just going to go ahead and graph them on this coordinate plane that I have over here. This is my x-axis, and this is my y-axis. So where they cross is 0, 0. So to find negative 2, negative 5, I'll start at 0, 0. And I'm going to go to the left, two spaces for negative 2, and down, five spaces for negative 5. And make a dot. And then for negative 1, negative 3, again, I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm going to go to the left, negative 1, and down for negative 3, and make a dot. For 0, negative 1, I'm going to stay right in the middle and then go down negative 1 and make a dot. For 1, 1, I'm going to go to the right one space and up one space for 1, 1. And for 2, 3, again, I start in the middle. I'm going to go to the right two spaces and up three spaces. And you'll notice that my... Um, dots are lining up to make a line, and I should go ahead and connect them, and I want to use my um, straight line feature here so that I get a nice straight line. You'll want to go ahead and use a ruler so that you get a nice straight line, and that's all there is to graphing a linear equation using